Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. Where people judge you. After that, she adds, beware hero. Probably something to do with the painting. charges the best protected soldier. And that's its weakness. What is my mother trying to tell me? Another painting. Since you've gone to so much trouble, you must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in great danger. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. The Red I'm Salon. Please keep my apologies Red to Salon. the guests. Uh, to whom requests your presence, sir? Well... Guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for the Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. <sighs> How many po Okay, I got two points. It's a inventory, right? Um, what? It, uh, uh, uh. So, cures negative alterations. Okay. Temporary re temporarily reveals immunities and uh, vulnerabilities affected by dialect voice or dialogue voice. Uh, next skill use is free. Okay. I get a chance. I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. You gonna go snoop a loop? You gonna go snoop a loop a looping? Go to the red salon. It might be better to take a different stairway. Why? I mean, he's already that sweeping. Must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. I walked all this stuff. I walked past all this stuff earlier after you had that dream. You didn't say all this shit. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault too. There's no excuse no, for that man's horrible behavior. There's no excuse for that type home. of fucking Look, behavior. The only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about this. pisses me off. Peru. How's your eye? I've had worse. Please accept my apologies. If I'd stepped in sooner, you wouldn't have gotten that. My eye's nothing. Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Same as everyone else, I accepted Lord Mortimer's invitation. I know your mother very well. If I understand rightly, you share a common past? Are you saying I've made it all up? You can ask her when you see her. Hmm. She's getting more and more agitated. Look, I've... How do I do it? it? I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? There's no way my mother just did that to you out of spite. However horrible the things she did were, I've... I've when did I have a blunder? In your best interest. Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not not everyone wants to use you. Damn. Some people care about you, don't they? Take your father. I'm sure he tried everything to save you. Sure, he tried everything. To keep me from upsetting his political affairs. Once I was declared insane, 
I was nothing but a burden that got in the way of his career. By leaving me with your mother, he made all the horrors possible. I've got nothing more to say to you. Figure it out yourself. It wouldn't have been her mother either because that would have been too easy. Watch, that probably was the choice. You know, she kind of looks like, uh, that girl, Zombieland, ECA, uh, she was in Superbad, she played Jules, well that was a shitty, uh, interaction just then. You gotta find a way to make her trust me. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Oh, okay. Napoleon Bonaparte, Fuck you, Napoleon. Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Fuck you too, Jack. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Thank you again for Fuck. the wine. It is served every day. At the I clicked store. something. I am Was it the other one? No. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make you the last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. A Prussian Britannic coalition is not good for France. The last time we fought against them, our empire went up in smoke. Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Soudan, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation <laughs> from the rule, but I count on your discretion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same great varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. <laughs> Bloomsbury? Would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. It's the first time I've okay. seen her so moved. Anytime there's a pause, I'm going to start looking for things to click. Is everything all right? Yes. Thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. What do you think of Wonder? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe 
the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. Volner is as influential as he is dangerous. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. Have you any information? I thought I missed something. What do you think, madam? What is this boat about doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's going to be further war. To answer your question, I only know that his family were in favor of the revolution. And that it almost cost them their lives. Thank you, that's helpful. <laughs> Monsieur de Richet? Monsieur. We have common interests. Interests. In no. Oh. Yes, we are. What's up, Shorty? The fuck are we? Is this fucking Lord of the Rings? Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, who your mother have concluded a that scene where Gan or not Gandalf, but the king like runs out on fire and just like falls. An agreement for Commons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am. Deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to disappearance. Properly. Disappearance. I Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother. Did he? I'm sure he did. But still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you. Among my allies, uh -oh. well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of fifty thousand louis d'or for two hundred cannon. Absolutely, fifty thousand louis d'or in hard cash. The offer I'm talking about was for only twenty thousand louis d'or, Monsieur de Richet. The truth is, you really have no idea about our agreement. So, you're wasting my time. I need to work with people I can have confidence in, sir. Yeah, why would exactly. you say a number? Escape me. I suggest you wait for my mother's return in order to manage such details. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of vision. the Vision. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? The revolution was a good thing, but it gave birth to a monster. We must overthrow the new system in place. Ah, you are right. Monsieur de Richie, I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this unbelievable little gift. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Mr. Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture and please know that I too am delighted to have met you. I thought they both looked at the camera. My friends, I would like to see I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. The butterflies flapping in harmony. among like-minded people. But that, but. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So, I raise my glass in honor of you all, 
my new and old friends. What do you say? I was too distracted by the butterflies. Mr. Washington. Um, um, where? 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 Right. We shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer. That shit's hard to see. Uh, uh, at least for me, it was. There's too, uh, too much on screen, but not enough of, like, the little emblem or something. You gotta come up with a better emblem. You need to come up with a better emblem. Especially when I'm over here. I failed a lot today. Oh. I guess I did save myself at the end. With Napoleon. Okay. So it didn't count as a fail. Okay. That's cool. We can, we can handle that. We can deal with that. That's cool. That's fine. I'm thinking I should know a little bit more about politics. That's the type of people I'm talking to, so... Never too well. Alright. Alright. Oh, I still can. Okay, hold on. Um, discreetly, steal items, pick locks, notice falsifications, be up to date with scientific knowledge and medical techniques, benefit from a sound cultural background in the arts, geography, and history, uh, rely on your knowledge of myths, occult, and religious symbols, as well as ancient languages, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, get people to act in your own interest. Uh, I mean, I understand it, but all right. Use your coordination against uh, surrounding, against your surroundings, and sometimes against people. Use your logical mind and oratorical talents. There we go. Uh, pe read people's behavior like an open book. Vigilance noteworthy. Or vigilant. Oh wow! Notice noteworthy details. Or oddly placed elements. Uh, notice anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. All right. What was it? What was it? Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Two points. Oh, that only costs one. Oh, that's manipulation. No, fine. Go. Anything else just costs one point? Hello? Hello? No. Okay. There's literally nothing else to put it in. And that could be the last time that I put points into my character Let's anyways. For dinner, I was going to investigate This is just the uh, demo. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Thoughts on the French Revolution. Uh, 
Interesting. You know they got some food over here somewhere. Or something. They got something here I can take. Got to. There's a coin. I don't know what I'll use those for. <clears throat> surrounded by a triple circle. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm kind of in somebody else's room right now, right? How about we don't do that? Mm. Wait, is that somebody? Ah, uh, it's the Pope fucker. Uh, key with an occult S symbol. Was it that one right over there? It doesn't say lockpick. Amber fragments. Amber crystal. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. I don't remember what the earth element symbol is, though. Space left. I'll retrieve it later. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the scene of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes. Eternity. I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see. It's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. Well, I, I must admit, Your Eminence, indeed it does worry me. I understand. But continue to have faith in Sam. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days we'll all be laughing together. <laughs> That's all I hope for you. Mm. But while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. What? What can I do for you? If I said to you, were all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library, continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later. Maybe I shouldn't have asked him that. That probably, he may be the fucking asshole and that tipped him off. Where is it? The only person sizing me up here is that monumental Zeus. 
Can't be here. Oh, I can't. Okay. Anything in here? Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. I have no room. Right. Oh, I'll retrieve everything. I took one of them. them coals on the ground like that. Burn the place down. Fine, Ben. It must have been the other way. Padre? Ah, uh, uh, woo! There's a place like that for real somewhere. Bound to be, right? What's the world's largest li <laughs> library look like? Actress, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Oh. Okay. Why? I wonder. Where's this other ding at? Ring ding dong, ring ding 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 dong. Two pages out of an old encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Oh, oh. size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Creature? Oh, is it gonna actually be Medusa? I thought it was just gonna be somebody named Medusa. So, he means nothing to me. Moliere, dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. That's the least you could say. No. Jesus! Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Okay. Thought I was going to be able to, like, grab it.
The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Spoiler, it was Judas. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe Saint. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. Probably pity bought it from what's his face. The Fall of Phaeton, another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning for borrowing his father's chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. <laughs> I tell you. Last time I did ah, that. François Premier, receiving the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. Son of Roland. Roland feels his death is near. His brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Waka waka. Alright, have I gotten everything? Oh no, it's just gonna let me sit. That's right. Celia. That name means nothing to me. Oh. Alright, break. Oh, I didn't I didn't look at this one. Liberty or Death by Renyo. Well, I'll take liberty, please.